Need to read the second page under the specials. Let's see, where is the specials? Specials, there we go. Alright, page two of the diary. Roman mystery, this is placed in your backpack. Alright. While traveling on a river in Italy, I noticed a strange amphorae washed up on the banks. I was forbidden to ever even approach them. It is said that once the captain of the Roman merchant ship Aurelia offered a siren in seeking revenge, she swam into the Tiber River and cursed the local waters. As a result, ordinary eels transformed into double-headed monsters with incredible strength and a thirst for destruction. The siren put magic spells on the eels and created illusions to confuse the crew. They attacked the captain's ship, tearing its sides and masts with powerful jaws. The ship quickly sank, taking all the cargo and crew with it. It's rumored that the double-head meals have not disappeared and the siren's magic still works. The Labradoric stone is needed to remove this spell, which is hid long ago in an old well near an ancient manor. The monsters cannot be defeated without it. Hmm. All right, looks like we've got to travel the Tiber River. We gotta make sure we didn't forget anything, but I did get that new stringer, so I'm actually gonna be able to get the fish this time. In the dead of night, find the Phantom Merchant ship. Catch asp, chub, or European grayling with bloody flies. Well, we already got those. I got 13 of those. Well, that shouldn't be too bad. Catch common barbel or common carp with blood dough balls. 20 of those. That's going to take a minute. At night, take the stale wine from the barrel near the estate. Not sure where that is. At midnight, pour the blood of 33 fish and stale wine from the barrel into the ancient well near the estate. Get a Labradorite flat spoon that blocks the power of the eels. Hmm. Quite a few tasks that's going to have to take place here. All right, guys, we are here at Tiber River. I would, there's a lot of places that this thing could be. It didn't really indicate what part of the lake we were gonna find it, but you have to find it at the dead of night. And it looks like some of these things are gonna have to be caught any time of day. So we got ass, chub, European grayling. So I have a feeling that that may be one of the last things we do is locate this Phantom Merchant ship. But, I'm not sure what this estate is. Hmm. Well, let's try to see if we can't find it in the daytime. It might make it a little easier. Let's try... over here. I honestly don't remember that. I always thought that was where we stopped. Hold on. Let me put that away. I've... This could be a spawn point that's brand new, for all I know. Uh, don't see anything. Let's try going here and see if that's... Okay, at least we got some items here that look interesting. Alright, let's see here. We've got a wheel, we've got candy, 
Got a pumpkin making noises. Let's see. We've got some kind of... I don't know what it's talking about in a state. What a state. Here's our canoe and our boat. Let's see. We'll... Let's go downstream a little bit. Let's check over here. No, that's just the... That's just the dam. Maybe we have to have the boat. I don't know. Wait a minute, there's something out here. Might be just a pumpkin. Let's see what it is. Well, that's interesting. Bet you this is where that thing's gonna be. Yeah, look at that. Something way out there. On the other side. Just see a hint of it. Let's jump over here and see if we can see it better. Alright guys, I'm back. Yeah, it is definitely on the other side. I can see it right there. If we were to get on the boat and go over there, I'm sure we could see it better. But I think that's what these little jars are for. They're kind of like little earthen jars from the, the Roman period that kind of mark where it's located. Plus you can hear that eerie music. I have to get there by boat. That may be the only way. I don't know if that has anything to do with the, the stage or whatever. But I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go after those fish. I'm just going to check downstream just one more place. Wait a minute, there is a... It looks like a a building right there, guys. Is there a building over here? Yeah, there is. Check it out. I never noticed that before. Can you get to it? Yeah, you can. I never know, unless this is just available during this time. Okay. Get the jar of blood of 33. Get the jar of blood of 33 fish and stale wine that come back at midnight. So that's where we need to come. I never noticed this. It's making some creepy sounds. I never had no idea you could come over here. That's pretty cool. Creepy old estate. I guess what we're going to need to do is go down there and catch those different fish. Let's see what we got as far as our markers go. Got a few of them. Let's see, we got marble, which we need to get. We got 
bitterling and barbel. So we may have to do the barbel to start off with. We'll try see if we can get here. Let us go ahead and put our bottom rods out here. Take that off. Put some smaller hooks on here. Supposed to use blood dough balls to get them. Also fish for the others too, just to see if we get them. But we've got to get 20 of these, so we definitely got to get more of them. And I believe that's where I was catching the barbel. Let me see here. Yeah. No particular size though. Got to catch barbel or common carp, which I have caught both here. Got a bite. Let's see what we got here, guys. Young Bell's catfish. Not what we need. Young common carp. That counts. All right, we're getting another bite here, guys. Let's see. Okay, this one's a little bit bigger than that last one was. Let's see what it is here, guys. Another whale's catfish. Well, I have a bad feeling that these whale's catfish are going to give us a bit of a problem if they keep biting on this. <laughs> we got here. Hopefully it's a carp or a barbel. Jeez, what is the deal? We keep getting these guys. Maybe we need to fish somewhere else. Hold on, there is a better spot. Now let's see what we got on this one first. Oh, this is the flies. Okay, we got something. And it's a marble trout. That doesn't count. <laughs> Tag on it. Yep. Does not count. Hmm. I'm just a little concerned that we're going to run out of these baits. We've got to get 33 fish. Usually you get the barbel here, but I don't want to be sure about getting carp. I think carp are going to be a little more of a sure thing, and I do have a spot that's better for them. And actually for asp. We'll try it instead.
It's actually over here at the bridge. We gotta go this way, though. Yeah, the carp are pretty prolific under this bridge. Last time I came here, I glitched out and started walking in the air, but... Yep, I even have a marker here. I think... Yeah, it's got crucian carp. I don't think those count, though. Yeah, it has to be common carp. So... Let's put our bottom rod down. Anywhere along here is usually good. This used to be a good spot for barbel, but I haven't caught it that many of them here recently. Some bites right off the bat would be nice. Now, as far as these guys, we gotta let it float downstream. Usually they go for shiners, but we'll see if they don't go for these guys. Got a bite on number four. Looks like we also got a bite on the float rod, too. There we go. Another carp. That's perfect. And that's our float rod. Now, hopefully, this is an asp. No, it's a perch. I got it. Does not count. Well, guys, this is not going to be an easy task to get this many of them. Not the ideal baits for these particular species of fish, either. Well, I'm going to keep trying mainly to focus on the barbel and common carp here for a while. We got something off of this one here. But I have a feeling we're going to lose a lot of our bloody dough balls to the Wells catfish. There we go, we got another young common carp. That's three out of the 20. <laughs> so, anyway guys, we're going to keep at this. I will bring you back as I get closer to getting these. If I find a better spot to use the bloody flies, I will show you. I don't think this is going to be it. I think this is going to be primarily for the carp. I do think there's going to be another better spot for the Asp, chub, or grayling. Alright guys, I am over on the opposite shore from where I was a little over an hour ago. I've been... I moved over here and started catching the ass finally. As you can see, I've got two markers out there. And I also was been catching quite a few of the common carps, so this has been really good. Well, let me go ahead and zoom in here. I'll try to get you some of these coordinates. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out which one's the I'm trying to figure out which one's the actual trophy asp. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Here the coordinates is negative four four two nine three five five nine point nine one. So that'll give you a good place to start. 
Now I went ahead and put two of them because what I've been basically doing is throwing my line right out in front of them and just letting it float down in between. Now you don't get them every time. Sometimes you can get one or two real close together and other times you'll be casting out three or four times and get absolutely nothing. You just have to be really, really patient. Yeah, we're really close now, guys. We only need one more Asp to complete the first mission. We did this solely with Asp, so... Never did get any Chub, never did get any Grayling. But... And we've already got 12 common carp just from this one location. I put those four rods out, and every now and then we get us a common carp, and complete another one of those so not a bad deal good work if I can get it that's for darn sure let me go ahead and reel this back over here yeah I had a fish on it earlier but okay I think we got one here yep hopefully it's another common carp and it is that's 13. And let's see if this is yet another one. And that is 14. Not bad. That's right here is where I've been getting the common carp. I keep throwing it there. And I've been putting all four of them there. Right at the front of that pillar or whatever you want to call it and slowly but steadily we're getting the common carp now if I get this asp I might go back to feeder in float heaven and see if I can't get some barbel that's an old marker but yeah there's the marker for the common carp negative 430.46 576.12 so that gives you another marker you can place if you so desire. Yeah, I'm sure there's lots of other places, but this has worked for me. And off screen, I did try quite a few other locations downstream besides this one. And this just I ended up coming back here. So, ah, shoot. Strike was too early. Deck on it. That could have been the right one, too. I hate when I do that. Alright, we're just going to start being more patient here. Yeah, sometimes it can float quite a ways down before you get a bite. But, like I said, just recast. Just let it float down. And unlike me, be patient. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to get this done. I've been at this for a while. I really want you guys to be able to see those double-headed eels. Alright, we got us another one on the bottom rods again. Looks like we're going to get up maybe 15 of these guys. Yep, there's number 15. Five more of those to go. Just got to get this last silly asp. Right before this happened, I'd caught like three in a row. So I knew I was probably doomed to sit here and wait and wait and wait. Or maybe not. I, have <laughs> I had one on there and I didn't even know it. Yep, there it is. There's the last asp, guys. 13 out of 13. All asp. Yep, I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and head down to the float and feeder heaven. See if we can't get some barbel. Might get some more carp there, too. But we'll see what we can get. Alright, guys. I have it to float and feeder heaven. And I went ahead and cast these out and put size my hooks down. To number two hooks from two aught. 
course, that ended up getting us a Crucian Carp instead of regular Carp, which is not what I needed. But yeah, I sized them down because I had did looked back on catching barbel and I was using smaller hooks. I actually was using a number one or one ot, but I don't have any in my inventory, unfortunately. So I've got number two. I'm hoping those are going to be good enough. I think they will be. Shouldn't be too small, but we might get some small fellas here. Just like that Crucian carp, but I think we'll be able to get them. We're almost there, guys. We are really close now. And I've been getting a lot of nibbles, so... Sometimes you get hit all at once, and that's usually how it knocks these guys out right here. So let's see what this one is. Hopefully, it's either a barbel or a common carp, not another crucian. And I think it is a common carp. Yep, there we go. There's 16. And just... I've got these anywhere right here. Any of these markers will be good because that's where I've gotten the barbel in the past. Again, I need to be patient. They will start biting. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, I think I want to recast this one. I want this one over here. This one I can't cast very far because this is a sea bottom rod, so it can only cast out about 94 feet. Alright, we got us another bite. Hopefully. This is something we can actually use. And I think... Yeah, there's our first common barbel. It's about time. So I told you you can catch them there. <laughs> They're just being a little bit elusive today for some reason. Yeah, because I've caught a unique one here before, so I know, they, I know they're here. So we have 17 of what we need. We need three more. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to jump ahead a little bit, because this is starting to get a little long, and I'm sure you guys are getting bored. Yeah, I went ahead and jumped ahead, because... starting to get a little boring and I, it, I've literally been sitting here for about 15-20 minutes but now we're finally starting to pick up a little bit now, hopefully this is the last one guys and it's a trophy Christian carp <laughs> of course it is why wouldn't it be it's a nice looking fish but dang on it that's not what I need I really have been getting what I've needed when I have caught something that's the first non-related species that I've gotten actually since I've been here. Yeah, no more Wells catfish, which is good. I guess the smaller hooks helped. Alright, let's see if this is what we need, guys. This has got to be it. It's got to be it. Keep our fingers crossed. If this is a common carp or a barbel. And it is. It is what we needed, and it is a common carp. So there we go, guys jar of blood this item is placed in your backpack so we are going to go ahead and claim that because we are going to need to take that over to the estate and drop it in a well or something like that so I'm going to go ahead and pick up all these rods and we're going to head up to that estate that I found we're at the advanced time probably alright here's the estate there's the pumpkin that marks it and here's the well that we need to check out. Let's go ahead and advance time to midnight. Hopefully I do this right. 
Okay, it says get the jar of blood of 33 fish and the stale wine and come back at midnight. Well, I have the jar of blood of 33 fish. Oh, I probably don't have the stale wine. Well, where do I get that? Do I have that? Okay. No, I do not. Where the heck do I get the stale wine? <laughs> yeah, there's a jar of blood. A reservoir of fish blood. So... I don't know. I'm not sure where the stale wine needs to come from. It says it's on the estate. Well, it's... Here's a barrel. It says it's on a barrel on the estate. Well, that's not it either. Okay, that didn't work. Alright, where the heck is this barrel? There's like barrels everywhere. Is it. Yes, there's some barrels here. Is any of these it? Okay, that's creepy. There's a scarecrow or something over here. Is that it? No? Okay. Where is it, on it? <laughs> Several crude comments later. Good lord, we're... Finally! Okay. <laughs> Jeez. I must have looked... I don't know how long I looked around here. It's ridiculous. I thought I missed everything completely. Well, let's see if this doesn't work. Hopefully it's not too far after midnight. Okay, there it goes. Roman Mystery Phantom Merchant Ship. We've got the... Well done. No monster can resist your skill. So we get... We've got the Labradorite Flat Spoon, one ounce, six aught. That's what we need to continue this on. Roman Mystery Double Head Eel. The ancient amphoras of the second ship remain scattered along the river banks after the wreck. Woe to anyone who takes an amphora. A monster will immediately appear guarding the cursed treasure. The legend says that to break the area's curse and free the sailors' souls, all the two-headed eels inhabiting these waters must be caught. So we have to use that flat spoon to get these guys. So. That means we need a boat, is what it says. Equip the Labradorite flat spoon. Use a boat. And at night, catch each monster after you take the amphora. I guess that's those jars. I, I'm not sure 100% if that's what it is. I'll have to look that up to make certain. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back, because we are going to go after the monsters next. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.